Welcome back, everybody. Okay, what we're going to do here is property ownership flashcards or vocab phrases only. Uh, this is going to be found inside of your PSI, Pearson View, Prometric, wherever you're taking your examination. That particular section, which is known as property ownership, let's get into it. Adverse possession. Adverse possession is a legal doctrine where someone can gain ownership of another's property by openly occupying and using it without the owner's permission for a statutory period, with such a possession being open, continuous, and notorious. Affixing. Affixing is the process of converting personal property into real property by attaching it to real estate. Conveyance. Conveyancing is the transfer and assignment of any property rights or interests from one individual or entity to another. Emblement. Emblements are plants and crops that are grown by tenants and are considered to be personal property. They can be harvested even after the tenancy has ended. Eminent domain. Eminent domain is the ability of the government to seize private property for public use without the owner's consent, but with just compensation to the owner. Encroachment. An encroachment occurs when a structure or improvement extends beyond its legal boundary and intrudes into the neighboring property. Encumbrance. An encumbrance is a claim against a property that impacts the transferability and or use such as liens, easements, leases, or mortgages. When a non-owning party restricts one or more of the owner's bundle of rights such as a tax lien, mortgage, or easement. Fixture. An object that is physically attached or fixed to real property in such a way that it becomes part of the property. General lien. A general lien is a legal claim against some or all of a debtor's property and gives the creditor the right to seize a debtor's property or assets to satisfy any debts or obligations. Improvements Any addition, structure, or item permanently affixed to a piece of land that increases the property's value. Interest a legal claim or right that a person or entity holds in a property, entitling them to certain privileges associated with that property, such as ownership, use, or control. License A license is a limited and revocable permission granted by the property owner to someone else to use the property for a specific purpose. Lien A lien is a creditor's claim against a piece of property due to non-payment of a debt. Life estate a life estate is a form of property ownership in which an individual, the life tenant, holds an interest in property for the duration of their life. That interest transfers automatically to someone else upon their death. Littoral Rights Littoral rights are water rights for property owners whose land borders a static body of water such as a lake or ocean. Proprietary Lease a proprietary lease is a lease between a cooperative apartment association and a tenant that carries with it the right to occupy a specific apartment. Riparian rights. Water rights for property owners whose land borders a flowing water source such as a river or stream. Severance. Severance is the process of converting real property into personal property by separating it from the real estate. Specific lien. A specific lien is a legal claim or encumbrance placed on a particular property or asset as collateral for a specific debt or obligation. Township A township is a geographic area in the rectangular survey system identified by its location from the baseline and principal meridian lines measuring six square miles on each side and containing 36 sections. Trade Fixture a trade fixture is an item or piece of equipment attached to a property for business or commercial purposes that can be removed by the tenant when they are vacating the leased property. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Okay, we're going to get into the next set, which is called land use controls. Again, you're going to find these inside of your outlines, your examination center outlines. Land use and land use controls is a decent section, and this is just the vocab for that particular section. Let's get started right away. CC and R's. CC&R stands for Covenants, Conditions, and Restrictions, are a set of rules and guidelines established for specific residential communities or subdivisions that are typically created and enforced by a homeowners association or HOA. Certificate of Occupancy, or CO. 
A document issued by a local government agency that certifies a building or structure complies with all applicable building codes and zoning regulations and is safe for occupancy. Condemnation. Condemnation is the legal process through which a government or authorized entity takes possession of a private property for public use through the rights of eminent domain. Deed Restriction A deed restriction is a provision in a deed that limits how a property can be used. Eminent Domain Eminent domain is a government's right to purchase a fee, leasehold, or easement interest in privately owned real property for the public good and for public use, regardless of the owner's desire to sell or otherwise transfer any interest. Escheat Escheat is a legal process where ownership of property reverts to the government when the property owner passes away without a will, known as intestate, and no rightful heirs or beneficiaries can be identified. Intestate. Intestate is when a person passes away without having created a valid will or left specific instructions regarding the distribution of their assets. Master Plan. A master plan is a comprehensive long term plan that outlines land use, development goals, zoning regulations, infrastructure, and other key elements for a specific geographic area. Non conforming use. Property use that clearly differs from the current zoning. Usually, non-conforming use results when a zoning change leaves existing properties in violation of the new ordinance. Planned Unit Development A PUD is a mixed-use real estate project combining residential, commercial, and recreational spaces in a single, cohesive plan with flexible zoning. Police Power Police power is the government's authority to regulate the use of land and impose restrictions on private property rights in the interest of promoting public health, safety, and welfare. Snob Zoning Snob zoning is an exclusionary practice where zoning regulations are intentionally designed to limit certain types of housing, such as affordable housing or multifamily units. Special Assessment a levy or charge imposed by a governing authority on property owners within a specific area to fund the costs of improvements, repairs, or public projects. Tax Basis The assessed value of all taxable property within a particular jurisdiction which serves as the foundation for calculating property tax rates. Variance a zoning variance is an exception or waiver granted by a local government agency that allows property owners to deviate from the requirements of the zoning ordinance. Zoning Ordinance A local law that divides an area into zones with specific permitted uses and restrictions to regulate land use. Its aim is to promote public health, safety, and welfare by ensuring incompatible uses are kept separate and that the area's character and appearance are preserved. Zoning Variance A legal permission granted by local governments that allow a property owner to deviate from the standard zoning regulations or restrictions for their property, typically due to a unique circumstance or hardship. 